that perception still out there? What do we need? Education or is it real? How do you now have this renewable energy when in fact if it start we talk about renewable clean energy, but if it's producing adverse uh, condition in the neighborhood, if it uh, the byproduct from this energy source is causing uh, health hazard in the in the neighborhood, it's causing people to come up with all type of uh, illness. I'm talking about upper respiratory from the byproduct of what we are trying to do as far as renewable energy. So what is it? Is it education, or is it perception, or is it both? And I want to ask both um, both of you if you could respond to that, but also to say that the very next panel after we finish with this Q&A is going to talk about that very uh, set of issues and that dimension of, of the conversation. <laughs> so I think, so my, so my, my translation of the question is why, it translate this for me, why aren't people more for renewable energy since it doesn't produce the byproducts? My, no, he, is that your question? My question was understanding the need for renewable clean energy yeah. at the same time the byproduct from what we are trying to do seem to be a more of an adverse right. on the community. The existing forms of non-renewable energy are having huge consequences for communities in which those facilities operate. How do you mitigate for those impacts or can you? Well, and, and that's what I was going to say, the more traditional forms of energy um, except nuclear, except for the, the waste is not generally spread around. Nuclear doesn't have uh, emissions. But coal, oil have a lot of emissions that are li literally killing people in our neighborhoods. Right. And, and that, that's why the environmental justice community and renewable energies generally do not. That's why I made the point about traditional forms of energy, you normally have combustion, don't have that in nuclear. Um, and it produces a lot of byproducts. Renewables, you generally don't have combustion. So that's why we've taken a stance in, in the environmental justice community that we do want to move as quickly and as much as possible to renewable forms of energy. And the way we do put that in context, and I think Cecil and, and Bernice will be talking about later, is um, from the EJ point of view, largely uh, because of the health benefits that the traditional forms of energy are making our, 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 our folks sick and killing people, and we can move to renewable energies. Um, uh, We'll have healthier communities, physically healthier communities, and also, in, in, along with that, though, we think it, it gives us a chance to to the the traditional energies have been uh, have been integrated in our society in such a way as that it creates inequality, perpetuates inequalities, and we hope that with uh, if we get in right in the in the, on the bottom of the renewable energy right at the outset that not only will it produce healthier communities, but economically we can do it such a way that we won't perpetuate the inequalities in our society. You know, economically maybe it will help bring our communities back. And that's the hope and that's the advocacy. Lonnie, can you take a crack at that question? 